it's been nearly three years since I've opened any English Pokemon product on my channel. And yes, in, in this video, we're going to be opening up a whole booster box of Obsidian Flames, the latest Pokemon set to release in the States. But why do I open English product today? I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how Korean Pokemon cards um, compared to English Pokemon cards. If you guys didn't know, if this is your first time on my channel, I am a multi-language Pokemon card collector. I feature a lot of Pokemon products in Japanese, Korean, Chinese, etc. But since it's been such a long time since I've touched any English product, seen the quality um, change also, I wanted to see for myself how they compare to Korean cards. So we're going to be doing a bit of that today. Um, also, I've been getting a lot of questions about when the Korean version of this will come out. It's very interesting. The minute a new release comes out, people need to know when the Korean version is coming out. It's actually next Friday, August 25th, to be released publicly in Korea. So let's get started with this opening. I'm very excited. It's been a very long time and opening English packs. This is quite weird, but at the same time too, refreshing at the same time. So I want to actually give a big thank you and shout out to Becca Castle for this great deal. I actually also opened up an ETB and got the most insane pulls. I just remember back in the day, like my last English set to open was Champion's Path. And I remember how bad the pull rates were. But after this pack, I'm going to show you guys my hits. We have Bear Tick, Togedemaru. Very nice reverse. There's two reverse hollows now, which is very cool. And our first hollow, and I think hollows are guaranteed. This was not a thing back then. Now we have Darkrai. It just feels like Sword and Shield, which is major robbery back then. But yes, here are my hits, guys. Just please tell me why. From one ETB, this is 10 booster packs of Obsidian Flames. I got a Illustration Repoppy. This is my second one, by the way, because I did open the three uh, pack blister in the past. We got a full art Terra Charizard EX. This is something I definitely did not expect. Just the regular full art, not the illustration rare. A full art Absol. Like, I kid you not. This is everything we pulled besides the Char Charmander promo. We have a Terra Tyranitar EX. Very cool, by the way. And also the Fable EX. So those were my pulls from the ETB. I was very shocked. And if you guys don't believe me, I have the cover right here. Very nice Charmander on the um, actual cover. It's really cool. I've noticed also a nice quality um, increase. The booklet feels nicer, the sleeves are nicer, hence why I have the sleeves on screen here too. And I noticed too, all the codes are now black. Usually in the past, it would, you'd have the white code cards, the black code cards, the white code cards also would mean, you know, you don't really get a hit. But nowadays we have guaranteed hollows, which is really cool. So, but yes, so what I'm gonna do too, since we're, uh, when I open a few more packs, we're gonna actually look at a Korean card with the English card. Say so we have Toxtricity, very nice holographic. And our energies at the back. The card trick's definitely very different. Man, I remember back in the day with the codes and everything, people were obsessed. Not have to worry about that anymore because I just opened, you know, non-English cards. Actually, let's do the code. Let's do the trick to the front, might, might, might as well. We have the basic energy, there's your code. If you guys want that, I don't, I don't play the online TCG. We have Litwick. Oh, Dino. Charmander, very nice artwork in this set. That's also why I like Ruler of the Black Flame in Japanese and Korean. Of course, Obsidian Flames in English. We have Toxtricity, the Town Store, Entei. Okay, so just to, just to feel out the first few packs, definitely more hits from the ETB so far, but we're still early on. There's 36 packs as opposed to 30 in the Korean and also Japanese booster box. But yes, I, one big thing I really wanted to talk about was really like cost efficiency. I'm not used to this at all. So in terms of value and also whether one is better to collect in English versus Korean, that really has to depend on your collection goals. So if, you're, if, you're, if your goal is to finish a master set versus chasing after specific cards, you know, if you want to complete a master set, it's actually better to open English, in my opinion, just because with the latest pull rates of booster boxes, especially very different from a couple years ago. Wow. <laughs> so we got Poppy twice. We got the full art. Very, very nice by you. Actually, very, very cute. And she's one of the Elite Four members, if you didn't know. She has Steel type Pokemon. But anyways, I'm um, continuing on my little chat about the Korean cards versus the... Um, English cards. So in terms of pull rates, of course, as I always mentioned, if, you, this is, if this is your first time hearing about Korean Pokemon cards, the booster boxes do not guarantee a secret rare. Please keep that in mind. And then um, if you want to complete a master set, you know, you probably have to end up opening more Korean booster boxes than English booster boxes. Just really want to, you know, keep that in mind. So you're probably going to have to end up spending more money to complete a master set 
versus English. From what I've seen lately and also what we're going to see today, you're going to end up pulling way more secret rares and full arts. Oh, that is a very nice art rare of Scizor. Wow. And we have a little gold star there. That's very cool. So the rarities have changed in the Scarlet and Violet area of a Togekiss. Let me go ahead and sleeve up that um, Scizor. Very, one of the best art rares in this set, I have to say. All right. Very nice. But we have tons and tons of more packs that we can get through. But yes, yeah, so if you want to actually aim for maybe one specific card, like say you're after the Charizard illustration rare, you don't really have to worry about um, pulling as many different cards in Korean sets because they're going to be the same as the Japanese sets. In terms of sizing, they're way smaller. Although I think Obsidian Flames is a bit different. It's probably smaller than usual English sets because it's not really combining with any other Japanese sets. I think the only cards included in this besides Ruler of the Black Flame are cards from those special Japanese releases. I believe like the Omakase decks and also the special EX set. It looks like the VMAX special sets from um, Sword and Shield era, like the Eevee Heroes one, the Sword and Shield one, etc. So those cards will be added to Obsidian Flames, but typically like in feature sets, um, I think the new Paradox Rift set, it's gonna have um, two, actually no, three sets that are releasing in Japanese. So those, that's gonna be another big set. But yeah, so in terms of collecting, you really have to think about what your goals are before you start comparing Korean versus English. And just like the English uh, version of Pokemon cards, they also had their tr transition from yellow borders to silver borders. Perfect. So we pulled a hollow card here. I wanted to give you guys a little comparison. So here's a Korean Articuno from Korean 151. As you can see, here are the hollow borders. And also on the back, so we have to keep in mind the card quality is going to be very different because Pokemon Korea have their own card stock versus Pokemon International. Of course, printing in the States, the UK, throughout the um, world, and also they, the names are going to be super different. So Articuno in Korean is Purijo. They're going to have their own specific names in South Korea. Scissor is actually Hatsam in Korean, if you want to know a little fun fact. And also too, so as I mentioned before, here's a couple of examples. Here are the Korean cards from Sword and Shield era to Scarlet and Violet era. They had the same exact transition from yellow borders to silver borders. So yes, and here are the backs as well, just to show you guys. And also here, let me actually show you guys a little comparison. We have actually a ground type here, so you guys can really see. Um, so in terms of like sheen and also feel as well, I feel like the English cards are a little bit more sturdy than the Korean cards. Don't get me wrong, the quality of Korean cards have definitely come a long way since the Sun and Moon era, for example. I remember those were a bit, a bit lower quality, but they've definitely improved. So you guys can really see for yourself. Here are the backs, if you guys are curious about the colors. Sometimes they'll be really different, sometimes they'll be the same. I noticed with English cards, the card backings will sometimes vary in color in general because of different print runs, etc. So just keep that in mind when it comes to English cards versus Korean cards. I can't really say which one is better versus which is worse. Again, because there's different pull rates, there's different um, card qualities even within the own language sometimes. And also, it depends on your goal. If you're looking for that one card, go with Korean because the sets are smaller. But if you want to complete master sets, just repeat again go with English because you're going to get more pulls per booster box, even though, yes, Korean booster boxes are going to be much cheaper on, on average, like $40 per booster box versus like 90 to 100 for English booster boxes. But you have to remember Korean booster boxes, no guaranteed SR, lower card quality, and you have a smaller set. So <laughs> a lot of factors to keep in mind. One to the front here. Okay, we have our basic, and anyway, anyway, back onto enjoying this set, we have Finizen. So if that was a lot of talking about Korean cards versus English cards, I just feel like they're kind of competing right now in terms of like quality and popularity. Japanese cards, of course, will be king in terms of quality, and also Pokemon originates from Japan, but they become very unobtainable nowadays with the hype in Japan so far. And also please keep in mind too that the Japanese Pokemon Japan versus Pokemon Korea that are you know saying this is that they're both separate companies some people like to assume that they're the same but just because it's in asia so, um when it comes to korean pokemon cards like i said they have their own specific card stock and that's because pokemon korea is really its own separate entity just like how pokemon international is different from pokemon japan so please keep that in mind yes pokemon korean releases copy and follow the Japanese releases, but really they're their own company. And yes, they have their own specific marketing. Hence why the booster boxes don't guarantee an SR, but the Japanese booster boxes do. And I guess English does nowadays. I mean, I remember from Chilling Rain, some people had booster boxes with no full art hits. So times have obviously changed because now I'm seeing people pull like four full arts from booster boxes. And I think now we've only had one so far, 
which is still exciting because that means we have a lot of things that we could possibly pull from this booster box. So let's keep going here. Basic energy, oddish. And let me tell you, I'm not used to the thick packs because I'm used to opening packs with just like five cards unless it's a high class set like Shiny Star V, um, VMAX Climax. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you still continue collecting um, English over Korean? Or are you going to start collecting Korean over English? Because again, cost is one thing to keep in mind, but pull rate is another to keep in mind as well. And also too, I'm very happy to see how much English cards have improved in terms of their pull rates and also quality. Not only did I want to, you know, compare the two languages together because, you know, a lot of people nowadays opening more English because Japanese have become hard to get, but at least, you know, I can also see the, the quality improvement for myself. So this is really cool to see. Lots of dark cry <laughs> lately in this box, but it's super cool. I like the artwork to it. And let me tell you, these piles, I'm not used to like how tall these piles are. Because <laughs> of course, you know, it has six more packs versus a Japanese or Korean booster box. But at the same time too, there's more cards per pack. And you know, and, you know when it comes to also playing the TCG, obviously if you're living in the States or an English speaking country, you can really only stick to the English cards. If you live in Korea, speak Korean and you want to compete with the Korean league, then that's when you would use Korean cards. Ooh! for um, playing the TCG. Very nice palafin hero move. This is very lovely artwork by Komayama. Their artwork has definitely grown on me. Another Hatsam, another Scizor. Very bold, very, very nice quality. Also the feel of the cards have definitely improved as well. Cause I remember sometimes the quality be a little questionable <laughs> with the English cards back then. But yes, I hope that helped guys the comparison between Korean cards and English cards. But you know, if you have any other questions, um, throw them in the comments below. But yeah, so let's continue right over here. And also, one thing I actually forgot to talk about. So if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I told you the release date is going to be on Friday next week as the recording of this video um, in South Korea for Ruler of the Black Flame, the Korean version of this set. But keep in mind, there's a new thing happening in Pokemon um, South Korea now where they released the official sets actually a week early, but only in the official Pokemon card shops in store. You cannot buy them online a week early. You have to buy them physically in store from the Pokemon company. And I'm guessing this is probably their attempt at reducing resale, reducing hype, just making sure the people that want to play the TCG get the cards they need because the competitions are definitely increasing over there. Oh, wow, we have a greed in EX. I think this is from the EX specials. I don't know, this is from the Oka Omakase deck. Um, you can pull this, the Dragonite EX, etc. Too bad they don't have a special art, but it's really cool to see. I like that very much. But yes, Korean Pokemon releases come out a week early in Korea, but you have to be there. Like someone like me living outside of South Korea could not get those sets a week early. I have to wait like everyone else for the official release date, of course, August 25th. Um, and that goes for any unofficial vendor as well. Any of unofficial Pokemon card shops also have to wait a week. So please keep that in mind. So if you live in South Korea and you're right next to a card store, then, you know, luck is in your favor. <laughs> Audino and Toxtricity. Actually, I like that hollows are guaranteed now. And we also have an extra reverse hollow, which is why I think the MSRP of English cards have gone up. Same thing in Japan, because the quality change and Korea as well. Prices have gone up, but you know, with South Korea, I'm actually impressed that they've managed to keep the cost low still, despite the quality improvements. So props to them. Everyone can still enjoy Korean Pokemon cards. You know, a lot of people will still probably resort to English, which is great. But if people, if you guys enjoy the Asian type release sets, um, you know, similar to Japanese, but you can't get the Japanese version. Um, Korean cards have definitely imp uh, improved, or not really improved, grown in popularity because of sets like EV Heroes and Blue Sky Stream being unattainable in not only Japanese but also in English through Evolving Skies. Packs are like ten dollars uh, like per piece now, and also um, there's just not many packs available. So if people still want to collect those Evolutions, Rayquazas, cards from Blue Sky Stream and Evol and EV Heroes then Korean is a really great alternative because boxes are just really only like $40 now versus like 200 in Japanese. I know Blue Sky Stream never really got a reprint, hence why the Japanese price never really went below uh, 150 to $200. And I see why Korean Pokemon cards have just boosted in popularity, but mainly those two sets and possibly also 151 because of all the hype in Japan. And, you know, the interesting thing too is 151 hasn't even come out in English. This set actually came out before 151, so the order is a little wonky there, but they probably have their good reasoning for that. Gumshoes Entei, hello card, very nice. 
and I forget, man, man, like these booster boxes definitely definitely take a lot longer to go through. But you know, I, I, I can't say for sure if four full arts is exactly what to expect. I'm definitely seeing a lot more hollow cards, but we definitely got a few EXs, which is really cool. And you know, when it comes to Korean booster boxes, once you get that one full art, if you do get it, that's it. And usually I'm more grateful for them because it's way better than just getting an empty booster box with no hit before I poke myself, I'm gonna put that scissor in there. But yes, it's another, you know, interesting dynamic when you do open Korean booster boxes. If you do get the secret rare pull, you definitely are more grateful. And I think too, one thing I've noticed, with the full arts now in English are considered secret rares before like Sword and Shield era. They weren't, they were just considered part of the set. And then, you know, your rainbow cards, your special arts or full or alt arts, those are the ones that are secret rares. And the gold cards, can't forget those as well. Scissor, I'm seeing a lot of the same holographics. You know what it is? Because this set is way smaller than usual English sets. I'm gonna see a lot of repeats because I don't even feel like I see this many repeats of certain cards in Japanese. One to the front, basic energy, very nice. These are starting to remind me of like Indonesian cards, like um, energy cards with silver borders, because that's what I'm used to, especially with English text. That's one thing I need to make note of. People sometimes confuse Thai and Indonesian cards a lot, but keep in mind, Indonesian language has the same alphabet as we do in English. So please keep that in mind, your clay doll there. Very nice by Nagishi. Okay, and we have a Terra Charles. I like the pack arts of this set. It's very cool, we're bringing back old favorites like Dragonite, Tyranitar, and then we have a new favorite, we have River Room, right? Because we love River Room, because we've had to battle it five times from, five, from Team Star. We have Fungus, although there is a very nice special, um, or sorry, illustration rare, I have to get used to that terminology. Pidgeotto, Zigzagoon, Toxtricity, and if you guys want to learn a fun you know, name of Pokemon in Korean, Charizard, like the one I pulled from the ETB, is called Li Jamong in Korean. It's supposed to kind of go after the Japanese name, Li Zadon. And um, fun fact too, in Korean, the Z becomes a J. There's no Z in the Korean language. So it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to sound like Li Zamong, but it's Li Jamong. So just please keep that in mind. If you remember Zarud from Vivid Voltage or Secrets of the Jungle, it's named uh, Zarudo in Japanese, but it's Jarudo in Korean. So an easier way to remember that J turn, no, Z turns into J in Korean. And we have a Gita. I'd love to pull her full art or illustration rare. I, I, illustration art rare. So it's I-A-R instead of S-A-R. Very interesting. Yes. And it's really interesting. No white code cards, guys. This is very, very different. Basic energy, Pidgey, Litwick, Young Goose taking a bath. Charmander, Arvins, Dunfisk, I'm hoping we could, oh, very nice Umbra. Yeah, there's also GameStop promos apparently, I bought like a blister. Oh, okay, we got a special artwork, illustration where we have Ice Q. Very nice by Toshinao Aoki. This is very like plain, but at the same time, it's rather appealing. I feel like because you add text there, it definitely adds more body to it. But yeah, let's check out that texturing, very nice. And it's also a Terra special art rare or illustration rare. So that's quite nice. All right, let's put that in his sleeve. I'm definitely gonna remember that. And it's cool, it's cool too, because this is the first set where we're implementing alternate type tarot cards. So Ice Q typically is, an, of course, a ice type Pokemon, but it's a fire type there. Scalding block, scalding, interesting move. So that's really cool. I like how the artwork itself is also putting that on theme. Even though it's an ice type Pokemon, there's still a massive candle hat over it. I have Belly Bolt, Trevenant, Smoliv. Oh, nice, Larvitar artwork. I think I also pulled this in Korean, so it's really, oh, oh, there you go. There's our third full art. We have River of Room, one of the mascots of the pack art, so that's very nice. But yeah, very happy to pull a special art rare. So, so far we got a trainer card, a full art, and a special art where possibly we could pull one more thing. And that's what I definitely find fun about um, English booster boxes lately. You don't feel disappointed when you just pull like one full art and you're like, oh, that's it. You can still get other cool cards, so. Will I open more English in the future? Maybe if you guys want it, but I'm still gonna, of course, focus on my Korean, Chinese, Japanese, etc. openings. If I can pull Europe, if I can open European product, I'll try. It's definitely much harder to get for some reason versus the Asian language products in the States. And also, um, I've had more problems obtaining product and then sometimes they get lost in the mail. <laughs> we have Victini EX, still has a nice starry holographic, very different from the Japanese version, but at least, you know, Pokemon International has taken a step up in terms of the holofoil quality. So that's pretty cool to see. And also I like the double reverse hollows. At least it's easier 
to complete master sets with that little dynamic change. So, because I remember trying to complete a Darkness Ablaze master set, it was just a nightmare because of the reverse hollows. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I'm opening packs just to get that reverse hollow, whatever. Oh, Umbreon, very nice. And then we have Sinisty and we have a hollow Entei. Lots of repeat hollows, but that is okay. Can we get another Charizard? I've seen so many people open like all the Charizards, maybe from like one booster box or the booster box and an ETB. It's just for some reason this set makes it easier to pull Charizard. And of course I got lucky with one so far, so that's pretty cool. Um, we haven't actually touched a gold card yet. We haven't seen it. Should, do you think we guys can pull it? I've noticed when it comes to these pull rates, it's like you pull one of each category, which is very interesting. Gita, Claydol again. That is totally fine. We have like, what, seven packs left? Wow. We, got, we just keep talking and, you know, it, it makes the conversation, it makes, it makes the opening actually more fun because, you know, if I'm opening packs at this rate, I still have a lot left. That means we're having a good time. We have Varum, Salandit, Electric, Larvitar eating its dirt. That's how it grows. It grows into a strong Tyranitar, Arboliva, Team Star, Miltan, Baltoy, and oh, very nice. My second Tyranitar EX. Maybe you should make a deck. <laughs> very nice. I like the um, texturing of this card. And also, I, I hope to pull the full art one day. I'm actually surprised they didn't make a special art rare or illustration art rare of Tyranitar EX. Maybe we'll see it in a high class set or the um, holiday set, you know, we have in Japan. And eventually to be released in English, I think it's usually the beginning of the next year. So I heard shiny Pokemon are coming back. I'm not too sure, but I've heard the possible name of the special set this holiday season. So I'm very excited for that. If we have more shiny Pokemon, I wouldn't mind if it's shiny Terra Pokemon. That'd be really cool to see. And it's also very on theme. But I'm very excited too for the Paradox Pokemon cards coming out in Paradox Rift. I just find it interesting how they're already implementing the next dynamic of Pokemon um, before the next year. Because, you know, when we saw Battle Styles, that's when they implemented the Single Strike and Rapid Strike dynamic with the TCG. And that was starting a whole year, so they're starting a little bit early. Very interesting to see. Okay, four packs of tests. Can we still get one more thing? We got at least a um, couple of art rares or illustration. What do, you, what do you guys call it nowadays? I'm gonna keep calling it art rares for now, just to avoid confusing myself. <laughs> All these terminology. Okay, Lollipop, Wook Trio, Darmanitan. This it's nice to see Pokemon from all different generations too. It's not just focused on one. Palafin, you know, minus one five one. Obviously, that's just Gen one. But at the same time too, it's very nostalgic. Very nicely put together set with all the artists really showing their true colors, doing one whole ev evolution lines. And again, just repeat if people are just coming into the video, if, if you're wondering, because I know I'm known for the Korean releases, just remember Korean Ruler of the Black Flames coming out August 25th. Surprisingly, it only took about a month after the Japanese release. It always comes out after the Japanese release. Typically takes about like one and a half to two months after the Japanese release, but for some reason this year, it, it, it came out a little bit early for this particular set. So that's very interesting to see. And we have two more packs, guys. I hope we get something good. Although I'm very happy with my pull so far. Getting a nice um, illustration art rare of Ice Q, that's very cool. Not something I expected, but at the same time too. It's kind of fitting with the season. It's like I need some ice, but it also feels hot outside. <laughs> Varum, Scizor, okay, and final pack, and it's a Terra Tyranitar. I'm really hoping, guys, one day we get a Terra Rayquaza, because apparently in the anime there's a Terra Rayquaza. Without the Terra hat, for some reason, that might be an interesting um, topic to come up later on. But if there's a promo card, I think that'd be super cool. And I think we have something in the back here that's not a holo card. So let's see. Last pack magic, guys. Are we going to get it? Pat Patrol Cap, Dolive, Oddish, and oh, oh, very nice. Koridon. I think this came up from one of the Omakase decks. So that's very cool. There should be a Maridon somewhere as well. So thank you guys for listening to me blabber about Korean and English cards. And you know that this is the first time I've opened English cards in almost three years. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more multi language Pokemon content. And if you guys want to show support for my channel, feel free to check out my trainer card that I actually to design myself over the course of four months. If you want to secure your own copy, be sure to send me a message on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video.